Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, my name is Andrei Gilmiza. I'm the head of uh, the team of Moscow International Book Fair. Today, I'd like to welcome you to Moscow in next September for three events. First one is the Moscow International Book Fair. Another one is the IBBY Congress for Children of Literature, which will take place in Moscow in next September. And the third is uh, the first edition of a new Moscow International Children's Book Fair, the new project that our team will start next year. Let me introduce to the website of this new project. So it's on uh, micbf.mibf.info. And uh, this website welcomes you to uh, to see the information on this new project. So New Moscow International Children's Book Fair will take place uh, from 8 to 12th of September, 2021. The same dates you will see uh, Moscow visitors will have the ability to visit the MIBF, Moscow International Book Fair, and also uh, uh, ABBY Congress, which will take place in September also. So we have three points to go to Moscow next September. So since we started this project uh, a couple of time ago, a couple of years ago in 2019, you know, we announced that we're gonna create this new fair. Since that time, we created two, two programs within the Moscow International Book Fair in September of the 2019 and 2020, which uh, is a, well, we're focusing on children and literature and also uh, picture books and uh, children book publishing. So uh, let me introduce you to this type of project. For the first time in 2019, we have a collaboration with uh, Bologna Children Book Fair, our dearest partner, and we created an international program with uh, in, in association with the uh, Bologna Children Book Fair. So we created several events and uh, one of them was the Drone Worlds, the exhibition of 1001 international children books. It was curated by Grazia Gotti, uh, and uh, it re this exhibition represents more than <clears throat> 1,000, 1,001 uh, books from all over the world. It is a picture books, and uh, we have, for the first time, we have such a big uh, exhibition of contemporary children uh, literature, contemporary uh, picture books uh, in Moscow. So the second uh, uh, project was the, the International Conference on Silent Books. Uh, the books without uh, text, the authors are the illustrators. And uh, we also have an illustrator survivor corner from uh, Me Master, the, the School of Illustrators from Milano which uh, was the project for illustrators uh, and uh, had the master classes and portfolio reviews uh, for, from the participants from uh, different uh, type of countries. And also we have a, a fellowship program for the first time, Moscow International Book Fair and new MICBF Children Book Fair in collaboration with Bologna created the fellowship program. So all these themes, uh, um, our strategy, our uh, uh, themes that we're gonna continue to uh, to present during the other events and the new Moscow Book Fair for children also. So we're gonna focus on picture books, on illustration, and uh, on new uh, interesting part uh, in the experimental part of the uh, uh, children publishing. And also, uh, we're going to create a big fellowship. Trying to create uh, uh, Moscow International Book Fair is a big, uh, big collaborative uh, fair for uh, authors and publishers from all over the world. So let me just remind you how it was, because we started in uh, the Millennium Book Fair when we announced the big things are going to Russia, uh, saying that the book fair will be announced. 
And uh, this is a part of the, that program, which we start with in 2029. So there were a lot of Russian titles at the exhibition also, not a lot, but uh, some of them were taken by the curator, Grazia Gotti. Uh, so saying that uh, the Russian children publisher make a, a lot of steps uh, towards uh, international markets. And uh, we have that 16 books within that 1001, but it was just two years ago. Since the time we make more steps ahead and Russian publishers can represent much more interesting projects for you. The Power of Silent Books, as we said, was a great conference uh, concerning the books uh, which were which are made by illustrators. Um, and uh, it was very, very interesting theme. And we will continue it within the next years. Um, Russian artists also took for a place in the illustrator survival corner, also in the program. And uh, Russian illustrators now are very uh, interesting and um, uh, make some projects, not just in Russia, but also international. So we have a, a great amount of uh, Russian artists who works with children books. I'd say we have a very good time that year because we don't have any restrictions with international travel. So the, the fellowship program was really open and uh, we make a lot of uh, friendship and uh, collaboration during this program. Uh, unfortunately, at this moment, we don't have any possibility to create such an events like uh, uh, traveling through, from country to country, but we believe in the next year, the pandemic situation will be down and we uh, can create the offline fair, not just uh, making something online, but also to meet uh, in Moscow really at the fair. So we also invited uh, a lot of uh, projects to work to deal with uh, the, the illustration graphics and uh, uh, design and uh, uh, pictures uh, which could be possibly used in the publishing and uh, created some projects with artists and schools and educational institutions, uh, which were the research uh, projects or exhibition projects. And we continue to create such a uh, collaboration because uh, one of the aim of the new fair is to find new artists and new new authors for uh, the project that could be also printed like a book. So one of the projects was uh, uh, the traveling of a group of Russian illustrators uh, curated by uh, uh, some illustrators from abroad through one of the district of Moscow where the, the task was uh, to find the visual identity of a city. And uh, this project was very interesting. And uh, after the, this research, there was an exhibition within the uh, my CBF part of uh, Moscow International Book Fair. Uh, another part which was uh, just started that year, the Russian comics, because we have uh, now a very uh, a rising uh, situation with the comic artists and also comic publishing in Moscow, in Russia. And uh, we created the Russian comic program, uh, which was just uh, the, the few of them. Some, some events and uh, also uh, some publishers took place in the 2019. But I'd say uh, this year we uh, rise this program uh, for a broaden and uh, the, the problem was uh, uh, created uh, in 2022 is much bigger. I tell you later how it was. So big things are coming to Russia and we are going down uh, seeing the, the, the participant of the program. Uh, I'd like to pay attention to this part of the website because uh, here we have a lot of uh, uh, digital video 
and uh, the doc it's not just documentary of the project, but also there are a lot of interesting and useful information. This part it contains uh, some videos from uh, international uh, <clears throat> illustration experts uh, like agents and publishers and also illustrators who were recorded in Moscow in 2019. It's very useful lessons for illustrators. So this year, we had a chance to create an offline event, uh, the MIBF, Moscow International Book Fair, really took place in, uh, in this September. It was in a hybrid uh, uh, format. So we mixed the offline, classical offline uh, fair, and also an online activities. So within the Moscow International Book Fair, we had a part of an ICBF also. This program focused on, once again, on children publishing, children literature, children visual literature. And uh, we also make some uh, special events which we're focusing on children nonfiction and books on knowledge. Some of these events were created uh, in collaboration with Bologna Children Book Fair, that we also have a collaboration with uh, now from uh, the institution from uh, the rest of the world. We also have <coughs> a big program containing comics because uh, it was, uh, analysis of the situation in comic uh, arts, uh, both in Russia and uh, worldwide. So we had an exhibition uh, of comic books and uh, comic pictures for, from different countries. Our partners from Bologna brought uh, the, the exhibition of 2000, oh, sorry, 200, <laughs> 200 international comic books, which were uh, uh, took part in the, uh, Bologna Ragazzi Award this year. So this is a new, new, new uh, comic books from all over the world. But we also have a discussion on uh, comic, uh, comic books as a driver of uh, children's publishing. And we also have an international discussions on uh, different aspects using the comics in libraries and shops and also as uh, publishing uh, in digital publishing. And um, we have an exhibition of French comics, also made by other partners from French Institute in Moscow. So well, once again, we had a very big uh, program for illustrators and uh, our main partner was Bologna Book Fair and uh, um, the Master School. So the program we were focusing on nonfiction and also urban and city themes, and uh, also on museums uh, and uh, books on uh, contemporary and classical art. So the, the program contains different uh, parts like uh, portfolio reviews and also the uh, master classes, but unfortunately this this year, this program has just online piece. Well, the, the all illustrators uh, program was made within our online platform, not in the real thing. But uh, to say frankly, we are very uh, positively look at this uh, situation because uh, it hasn't just uh, the new result for us, staying online and have a connection to the world, to the publishing world, to the world of illustrators. We have, uh, created some uh, much more links and uh, uh, became much more links to the, to the audience. Uh, this year, we have um, participants uh, more than for, from more than 72 countries. I mean, this illustrated program was very, very successful. And it was not just for uh, the bridge, with not, not just a bridge between the world uh, uh, of illustrators and the Russian world of illustrators. It really creates a platform where illustrators from all over the world meets for one week to create some new, to, to discuss and to have some new connections and also have lessons uh, and also have new contracts. I mean, uh, I'm proud to say that after this uh, uh, program, uh, some Participants really find their new publishers, new agents, 
and uh, some projects are really started after the few days in September. So we have just see the map uh, of the uh, visitors uh, of the Illustrators of and uh, all the MICBF programs this year. I mean, this platform became not just uh, just a uh, local uh, Russian uh, window and uh, gate to the Russian market, but uh, uh, it uh, started to work as a platform for publishers and illustrators and agents from all over the world. And we'd like to believe that next year, when we don't create some hybrid format again, so we believe we can create some part of the fair offline in Moscow, and we are waiting for you in Moscow, please welcome to come. But we also will stay online with you through all this year, and we will do uh, digital events in next September. So if you can go to Moscow, please come. If you cannot, please stay online because uh, a digital format will possibly make the appearance uh, at the fair is useful and effective. So I'm very proud to say uh, that Moscow International Children Book Fair will start next year. And I'd like to you to, uh, to join us. Please find the Join MIBF and new MSCBF button at the, our website. Please make pre-registration, it's absolutely free. Please stay with us. Let's uh, have the link to each other. And we're gonna say in you and inform you about all the news from the fair. And we are waiting for you in Moscow next September for free events like new MICBF, MIBF, and also IBVI Congress. So welcome and thank you and goodbye.